When we see intense fires like this, we think about safety, not only for you at home, but for the crews on the front line. 41 Action News Investigator Jessica McMaster here to talk about two Kansas City tragedies and how it really changed and shaped yeah. the way firefighters approach scenes just like the one today. It did in a big way. As you guys know, in 2013, the Kansas City Fire Department lost two of its officers or firefighters rather in a building collapse. And in 2013, a waitress died during the JJ's restaurant explosion. Lessons were learned. Protocols changed. A long day for fire crews as they hose down an intense fire. Flames began pouring out of this North Kansas City store just this afternoon. No one was hurt. A scary scene with a reminder of how things could have been. You are not safe right here. In 2013, an explosion at JJ's restaurant off the plaza sent people running from the scene as first responders ran in to save lives. One woman died. The result of a contractor hitting a gas supply line. The Kansas City Fire Department responded to the initial gas leak, but left before the explosion. KCFD has since changed its policies. Firefighters now arrive with gas monitoring equipment and are required to stay on the scene until gas readings are within safe limits. It's a change in protocol that makes it safer for everyone out there today. Then there was this fire in 2015. Evacuation was ordered at 752. The alarm sounds. It's an order for fire crews to get out of a collapse zone. Many did, but two firefighters died in an avalanche of bricks. A federal investigation revealed they shouldn't have. Former Fire Chief Paul Berardi acknowledged the department didn't have a collapse zone policy at the time of the tragedy. It does now. And at the time of that 2015 fire, some of the crews said they didn't hear the collapse zone order. As part of the new policy, a head count must be conducted to make sure everyone gets out. I'm investigator Jessica McMaster, 41 Action News.